In this tutorial, I will show how to bring back daylight simulation from VLUX Daylight Visualizer into Revit by creating sheets, import the simulation as image and have some overlay drawings from the Revit model as an overlay to get the sharp edges as shown in this example. In other videos I have shown how to make this simulation as well as the color legends so in this one I will focus on how to bring it this color plan. Step 1 is to export the image from VLUX. I typically use the false color display or presentation of the daylight simulation. Finding the right minimum and maximum scale in this case is 1000 to get the maximum readable information from the simulation. As we can see it gives a little bit more details by using 1000 so I'll use this in this case and for all of the other simulation for the other levels in the project. So go to file, save the image in a logical name like daylight studies with lux values for level 0 and then save it. Back in Revit I will start by creating a new sheet. Right click on sheet, say new sheet, select the size of the sheet you want to have. In this case a sheet of 30 times 42 centimeters were a good scale with a plan drawing of 1 to 200. Then we have the sheet, then we create a new drafting view where we will place the image from the simulation. So go to view, drafting view, call it something logical. For example, daylight simulation, lux values for level 0. And then choose the same scale as the overlay drawing. Then it will be easier to control the size or change the size later on. So 1 to 200 was a good scale in this case. And a drafting view is a 2D view that doesn't have any relation to the other model inside your project. First I create some reference planes so I have some guides to, to snap at. So I go to architecture and then reference plane, draw two reference plane in two direction, something like this. And then go to insert image, finding the right file to import, in this case this one, and say open, place the image, and as we can see it's quite big this image. And then I select it and move it, taking this corner as an insert point or location point, place it in relation to the two reference plane I just draw and maybe in this case I want to have them a little bit longer these reference planes but let's see how it fits later on. Next step is to duplicate a floor plan level 0 in this case right click say duplicate and not with detailing in this case because I want to have a, as empty as possible view for this overlay. Select the stuff I don't want to see right click and say hide in view by category and then there is another important thing. We need to turn off all the floors to see the image. So I go to visibility and graphical rights and turn off the floors and say OK. Doesn't change that much at this point, but it will later on. In this project, I have subgrids. I want to turn them off so I can select one of them, right click, select all instance visible in this view so I can select all of this type right click again and say hide elements in this case because or else I will turn off the primary grid lines so I get a clean as possible view make sure I have the scale I want to have in this case 1 to 200 using detail level of course to have a simple representation of the plan without any detailing this is about showing daylight levels and not showing construction detailing going back to the sheet Start by dragging the image onto the sheet. This is very important or else the image will hide the overlay drawing, the floor plan. And then second, take the floor plan and drag it onto the sheet. Place it where you want to have it and remove the title bar. Go into properties and select no title. Grab the drafting view with the image. Do the same with the title bar. Say no title and say activate view select everything in the view and then move it to the corner that is the insert point or what we have defined in this case as insert point by using move get the intersection between the two reference plane and approximately place it as precise as it can be something like this 
then I want to scale the image up I could actually create some more of these reference planes and in this case I'm just making a little bit longer so I can have something to intersect with select the left one and say copy to the other side of the building try to place it as precise as possible again select the image activate the scale using the graphical scaling method so I can pick on the image and select the distance to scale with so I will start by this intersection point we have here and then taking the length of the image here first and then move it in that direction the image should be scaled to and then go to the other reference plane we have here because this is the length the image should have as we can see here when I select it and if it's not correct placed I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard but I think it's looking pretty okay this one and then we maybe don't want to see the black stuff on the image for this we can use mask and region that we find under annotate and select mask and region I'll just make it simple this one so I will just draw a rectangular boundary again from the insert point the other end of the building and then create a larger rectangular boundary so I can hide the other stuff so when you have two set of closed boundary it will hide the stuff in between so this one will be hidden when I press finish as we can see here and then to end this first steps we can right click again and say deactivate view and then we can see how nice it actually can look like with this kind of method in another video I will show how to create the legend or the color scale by using legends in Revit